Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This week we're going to take a look at a new enhancement that's coming out on 10.0.3 that's going to let us do a two-step receiving process without using a license plate. Okay, so I get this question a lot when I'm doing the implementations is, you know, do we have to use a license plate when we're receiving? And pretty much in the past, it's you had to use it. You needed to print a label and, and, and um, attach that to the product and then use that one during your put away. But what we're going to take a look at today is a new feature that's coming out, some new functionality that's come out on 10.0.3 that's going to allow us to not really create work on the purchase order receiving side, which then doesn't require us to use a license plate. Now, full disclosure, I am generating some license plates on some of these menu items. They're not being used, though. The mobile device is requiring me to enter in some values in there in the license plate. If I'm not generating them automatically, so you'll see that on the on the mobile device menus i am going in during license plates but i'm not really using them for anything okay so let's dive in and see what we need to do to uh, set this up so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into feature management and turn it on and if you select all and the easiest way to find this is just do an asterisk enhancements like that and the two we want to turn on are these two here you have to turn on the license plate receiving enhancement first and then you can turn on the work policy enhancement Okay, so go ahead and turn that on first. Now the next thing we need to do, this is where really the setup takes place, the main setup. If we go underneath warehouse management, and then we go to setup and then work, there's a menu called work policies right here. So work policies is not new. Um, the functionality we're gonna use for the purchase order is, is new. Okay, so work policies, where I've used those in the past is, uh, in the past, you were able to, for example, if you're doing a finished good or a report is finished on a production order, you could use a work policy to not generate work when you're doing the report is finished, okay? But in our case, what we're going to use this for is to not generate work when we're uh, doing the purchase order receiving, all right? So what we'll see here is if we go, I've created a, a policy called no work, and I've added a type called purchase orders. Now, just know if I go ahead and add here, I could add transfer orders to this as well. Uh, transfer issue or transfer receipts so I can so I can add these add these to it as well I'm going to remove that I'm just going to do purchase orders today and then what you want to do is you want to tell it what inventory location where you're when you're receiving into that you don't want to generate work so what I've done here is I've generated created a, a where, warehouse location called receiving which is a non license plate controlled uh, location we'll take a look at the setup on the location in just a minute uh, but basically, anytime I'm receiving into that location, it's not going to generate work. And I'm going to show you how we're going to steer the whole device to use the receiving locations versus the RECV location that has the license plate. So that's really all you have to do. Products, you make sure that you know selection is all, and there's, you don't really have to put anything here. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at that location setup. So if I go underneath setup, and then warehouse, and then locations... Take a look at that receiving location. So what it is, I've generated a location called receiving. It's got a location profile, RECV, no LP. So if we look into that, um, I'm basically I'm not using license plates, but I'm allowing mixed items and allowing mixed inventory statuses. Okay? All right. So the next thing we want to do is we want to set up our mobile menus, mobile device menus. So if we go under Setup, Mobile Device, Mobile Device Menu Items, and we go down and we take a look. I've got an item here set up called Peel Receiving Item. And you do want to go in and use the work mode. Um, so we're not generating work here, but we still need to use the work mode just to get the Peel Receiving to work. So work mode, and then you're going to do Purchase Order Receiving. Make sure you use Default Data. Uh, we'll get to that in just a minute, but uh, make sure you have checked use default data. And notice I do have checked you generate license plate. Again, this is just so it doesn't ask me in the mobile device. Okay. So once you uh, check use default data, you, this menu up here is going to light up. So if we click in that, we'll see the two location uh, for warehouse 24, hard coded value I want is receiving. So this is my receiving location I want things to receive to. Okay. So after that, that's pretty much it. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and take a look at the purchase orders I have set up here for us. So if I go to uh, procurement and sourcing, and then I go to all purchase orders, my PO numbers are 2131 and 2132. So it's these two right here. 
So we'll move over to the first one here. We've got item A001 for 10, and both of these have been confirmed. And then if I go into 2132, I've got item A002 for 10. Okay, so both of those have been confirmed. All right, so let's go ahead and flip over to our mobile uh, device. And I've just created a small menu for me for us here. So when I log in, I'm only getting a put away and a receiving. So let's go into the receiving first. And we'll go ahead and put in our uh, purchase order number, 2131. And our item is going to be our A001 on that one. And our quantity is going to be 10. And then we're going to say OK. All right, so that one's been received. So let's go ahead and receive our other one. So this is going to be 2132. And our item is A002 for a quantity of 10. There you go. Then that's, then that's received as well. All right. So let's go take a look at our purchase order. So the exact same things happen when we when we receive normally as when we use this method. So we're going to take a look at our line. So we're going to update line, look at our registration on this one. We still have a quantity of 10 that's been registered. But if we go out and look at our work, let's go look at all work. So warehouse management, all work. And I'll go ahead and show you closed work just to make sure sure that you see everything. Notice there's no purchase order receiving work for those POs. Okay, so we basically received these and have not generated any work associated with them. Okay, so that gets everything into a receiving location. Now, if you've got a warehouse where you just have one location or you, you just have a just a main location, you're selling everything out of it, you're probably done there. Uh, but let's say we want to actually put those items away. Now, what we're going to use to do that is our inventory movement um, warehouse menu. So let's go to warehouse management, mobile device, and then mobile device menu items. And I've created one here uh, called movement put away. That's our item here. So again, I'm going to use default data here. And it's mode work in the work creation process. And we use movement by template. Again, generating a license plate here just so it doesn't ask me for a license plate. All right. So once we have that checked, it's going to have this menu up here is going to light up. And then we're going to put our from location that we want is our receiving. So this is just so that the user doesn't have to scan the receiving location. You know, normally on a movement, you scan the receiving, scan the part, scan the, scan the to location, right? So this is just so they don't have to scan that receiving location. All right, so let's take a look at how that works. All right, so if we cancel out of our back in our mobile device, and if we cancel out of our purchase receiving, so if we go to this put away, which is that movement menu, so here's my location being defaulted in. So let me pull up my item, my A001. Uh, it already sees that there's 10 there, so I'm going to go ahead and take the 10. And since I'm doing a movement by template, it's going to use the location directive to suggest the location where it's going to go. So it's wanting me to put it in the uh, CP-001 according to my location directive. Again, it's generating a license plate. I'm not using it for anything. All right, we'll just say OK. All right, and then it immediately goes to item A002 because that's the last item in the list there that's in that receiving location. And it's picking up quantity of 10. So again, we'll say OK. And then it's wanting me to put that in location CP002. So I can say OK there. OK. So that lets us receive using a two-step process. Notice at any time I didn't specify any sort of license plate. I scan the item every time, scan the item on the receiving side, scan the item on the put away side to do the put away. Okay, so no license plates at all. So I, I've gotten a lot of calls for that type of uh, functionality. So I think a lot of my customers are, re are really gonna like that. Um, it just kind of saves the hassle of generating license plate if you're receiving smaller smaller batches of items, right? Okay. So I hope you found some value in this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me on the distribution of the video, helps more people see it. And if you like this content, I put out a new video about every week. Um, please feel free to subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I put out a new video. Okay. So again, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.